carbs are devils in my world. Let me tell you what I did yesterday. And this is crazy because girl and be, be gone. If she, we should have done a girl talk talking about this because yesterday I had gone to the office and I'm driving back and I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop at Jamba Juice because I'm going to get some oatmeal because I'm supposed to be eating these 1200 calories per day this week. Remember I committed to that and I'm just, I know I'm not going to be hungry. So I am going to stir up my appetite. <laughs> I said that to her. I said, I'm going to get this oatmeal and I know it's going to it's going to set me off and it's going to make me want to eat. What happened? It set me off. Got the Jamba Juice oatmeal. Asked for the soy protein to be added, thinking I'm doing something. Came home, added um, some sliced uh, almonds to it. More protein, right? And a couple hours later, I was hungry. And so then I'm like, okay, but it's not lunchtime. And so I did this whole thing. And then um, I got like some munchies from my daughter. You know, Doritos with the pretzels and the cheese. Yeah, those. Um, I had got some of those. And um, and then I had um, lunch. Now, for lunch, I had like um, um, a couple baby bills and um reinventing ed he totally influenced me because he had some stuff from his garden so he had made like a mozzarella uh, fresh basil um, tomatoes and he had some other stuff on his plate and i saw that earlier and i was like i'm gonna go do that so i got my cherry tomatoes i got my um some um, baby bell bond bell i like bond bell and um i had some fresh basil in there and i had a little olive oil and drizzle with a little basil then i got a half of a um white nectarine and then i had the lemon cucumber if you saw me go to the farmer's market the other day you saw that i, I was trying this out it was something new i've never seen it before it looks like a little um lemon it's round and it's cucumber very fresh and very good so i got like two slices of that and so I had my little bowls all cute and, you know, I'm eating or whatever. I think that fruit and the veggies contributed and accelerated my carb demon. <laughs> so, um, I, and then I found myself eating like, um, I had some Fruit Loops. I had a half a cup of Fruit Loops and a half a cup of non-fat milk. Uh, totally wanted more, wanted to go in there and get some Frosted Flakes, but I stopped myself. And then for dinner, I cooked the, the taco meat last night and then I ended up finding myself at the Taco Bell getting a Mexican pizza, which I love. And, I, and if you look back like months and months ago, I used to sort of uh, talk about this Mexican pizza and how it's, you know, 530 calories and half I can only eat half and it's, you know, 200, whatever. And so months have gone by and I've hadn't had that Mexican pizza. So I had the Mexican pizza, just sick as a dog. It just made my stomach all messed up. But, you know, I was sitting there and, and of course I showed the pictures of this stuff. I didn't show the picture of the munch munchies, but I had them. Um, and, you know, it's like, okay, this, this is the reality and this is something that I know. And it's sort of, you know, a, a message for you is when you know that there's something that triggers you or sets you off in a bad way and makes you either hungry sooner or makes you want to eat more of the like type of thing like in my world is carbs uh, and I'll say like carbs be get carbs because when I eat them I want more and more of them when you sit back and really monitor yourself and you figure that stuff out believe it like I know it and um, for whatever reason, I was just weird. And, and plus, I had some emotional stuff going on yesterday, too. And so that contributed to, and I said today in Facebook, I believe the carb, I know the carb set me off. But in a good space, I'd be able to control it. Um, but in a not so good space, there was a couple of different emotional type stuff, going, things going on. I think my ability to reason through it got a little weak. And so the carb stuff was going on and then I had these emotions and then it was just like, I'm going to eat the Fruit Loops. Now, I don't binge. Um, I ate that stuff. But, you know, if I and I haven't calculated what I ate for the day yesterday in terms of calories. But, you know, I, it, it, it was not anything crazy. 
Um, but it was outside of my meal plan. It was outside of the things that I've established for myself to be able to eat and not eat. And so for me, it, you know, was an eye opener. So carbs, no matter how complex you are, oatmeal, I love you. But I just, I can't play with you because you set me off. <laughs> so that's the second thing that I learned. Anyway, I'm 15 minutes. I'm hoping this will upload. Uh, thanks for allowing me to ramble and, and to sort of be with me as I process through. And I encourage you to process through too. Um, nothing set in stone. You know, process through your journey. Figure out what's going to work. Figure out what's not going to work for you, even though it might work for the next girl. Um, keep it fresh and purpose to be successful. Alrighty, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye.